Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the Southern Utah Thunderbirds traveling to the number one toughest ranked stadium to take on the eighth ranked Air Force Falcons. We've got a really solid offense, good quarterback, good halfback, tight end, good wide receiver. They are going to be tough to stop. And you can see they have no freshmen on their team at all, so a lot of experience and a lot of age on this team. They've all been playing together for a couple years at least. They also have a lot of depth on this team as well. A lot of 70 plus overall players. And here are a couple players that need to be suspended for the Thunderbirds. We saw last episode the VMI Cadets had three star players that had to be suspended or they were not going to be bowl eligible. A middle linebacker Donald Lee Jr. missed a mandatory workout. Or he was a half an hour late, actually. And Prince McCutcheon, three-game suspension, what did he do? Involved in an identity scandal where other students were taking exams under his name. Oh my goodness. So the Thunderbirds are going to be without Prince McCutcheon for at least three games, most likely. And that is not a good look for the Thunderbirds at all. He will be gone for four games. And Donald Lee Jr. will be gone for one. Let's get down to the field. Air Force kicks it off. And Jaquan Freeman on the return from his own seven. Gets a pretty decent return back to the 25-yard line. Last week, we saw the Thunderbirds get crushed 76-24 to as they took on the 17th-ranked Army Black Knights. And here's a good start so far for the Thunderbirds. A couple good runs up the middle. Continue to pound the rock, this time to Matthews, and he'll get five. Third and nine, though. Gregory's going to take off, and he will dive for the first down marker. And they continue to keep the ball on the ground. Last week, they only had 117 yards rushing on 34 attempts. And there's another first down on the ground as well. Owen Gregory was 9 of 22 last week for 197 yards and one touchdown. Not a very good completion percentage as Brandon Lee breaks up through the middle. Wide open space, gets it inside the red zone. Gregory on the option in the open space and a good open field tackle at the seven yard line. Stops him from getting in. Brandon Lee's gonna punch it in the end zone this time though for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds touchdown. A six yard scamper by the big fullback. Thunderbirds strike first, seven nothing over the Air Force Falcons. And that is kind of surprising. Air Force on the field on offense now. Davis takes the end around and he is gone. Look at the blazing speed. My goodness gracious. But this play is going to be called back for a clipping penalty, unfortunately, for Air Force. Now in my weekly prediction video, as Slaughter gets loose again, I predicted Air Force to win this game 24-21. And that was before the suspensions for the Thunderbirds. So we'll see how they fare now. Third and six. Defense needs a big stop here, and they're going to get it. So they're going to give their offense the ball right back and see if they can't take a two-score lead in the number one toughest stadium in the country. Brandon Lee up the gut again, gets loose. 13-yard carry for the big fullback. He's up to 64 yards already here in the first quarter. Now in the second quarter, Lee again. Nice juke move, breaks two tackles. Still going, but puts it on the ground and recovered by Matthews. Gregory, going to throw it out to Lee now. Might as well give him the ball in the passing game. He'll get it up to the 32-yard line. So a lot of running today and a dink and dunk passing offense. And here's Cameron Matthews inside the red zone. And this offense is clicking on all cylinders right now. And Brandon Lee's going to pick up five more yards. Third and five. Gregory going to take off. No, he is sacked for a loss of four yards by Kimbrough, the right end. And that will send on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and it is good. So the Thunderbirds up 10 to nothing right now, and this crowd is stunned. And here is Slaughter breaking a tackle up the middle. Bryce King, the only one that has a chance, and he does not have the speed to keep up with Slaughter. And this time, the big touchdown counts for the halfback. Another end around, and he just breaks one tackle, and he's gone. Southern Utah missing their middle linebacker right now. 
who was suspended for the game. Here's Owen Gregory taking off, and he's going to get this one up towards midfield. A good scramble by the athletic quarterback. Cameron Matthews up the gut. He'll pick up another first down. 158 rushing yards today for Southern Utah, and that is already about 40 more yards rushing than they had last week. And tack on 15 yards right there for a face mask. Gregory going to roll out, and he's going to throw it, and it's caught by Turner inside the five-yard line, the non-subscriber slot receiver who is playing the number two spot right now. Gregory breaks a tackle, pitches it out to Lee, and he's in the end zone for another Southern Utah Thunderbird touchdown. And I am as shocked as you are, guys. 17-7 to right now. Ground game. Just unstoppable for the Thunderbirds. Doesn't matter who they give the ball to. Cameron Matthews, Brandon Lee, Owen Gregory, they're all doing great. And that is going to do it for the first half. Thunderbirds on top, 17-7. to They are controlling the clock almost 10 minutes. Slaughter with a nice seven-yard carry up the gut. Second and three. Another end around here up the gut. And he'll pick up a first down. They really like to cut those back, and they are making it work. Slaughter, eight yards off the right side. Slaughter again. He's going to get the first down here on a four-yard pickup. First and one after a penalty. Davis cuts to the outside, makes a man miss. Bryce King pushes him out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The speed of Air Force is very scary, and that's why Southern Utah is trying to keep that offense off the field. Slaughter with another nine-yard carry. Pearson takes off. He'll fight forward, getting the first down. And Slaughter's going to punch this one in. There's a huge hit by Bryce King, but it didn't do a whole lot to stop him from getting in the end zone. Last week, the Thunderbirds defense allowed 197 yards on the ground, and Johnson's wide open here for the Thunderbirds. Pitches it back to Brandon Lee. Doesn't get anything out of it, but an exciting play nonetheless. Gregory rolling out left side, being chased. Throws it up. Dangerous throw, and it's caught by Jaquan Freeman inside the 20. Great spin move to get it inside the 15 for a first down. My goodness. Army had 328 passing yards last week against the Thunderbirds defense and five touchdowns. So the passing defense is really stepping it up today. As Brandon Lee gets stuffed, but there is a face mask that will give them an automatic first down. The chance to go up by 10 points. Cameron Matthews punches it in for his first career rushing touchdown. He did not do a whole lot last week. Taking a look back at the numbers. Oh, he had 84 yards on 16 carries. But most of that came on one run, which is 56 yarder. And Slaughter is gone again. What a play. That gets them back within three points. Just another simple run up the middle. Makes three men miss all in the same spot. And you're not going to catch him. Fourth and four for Air Force. They got the ball back after a three and out from Southern Utah. And Slaughter gets stopped short by Bryce King. So the Thunderbirds get back on offense here. King celebrating. With number 17, C.J. Moreland, the cornerback. Brandon Lee up the gut. He'll get another first down. He has been a beast today, going for over 100 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Great day for the big fullback. Gregory taking off. He'll get the first down and more great blocking downfield, breaking a tackle inside the 15-yard line. Thunderbirds not done yet. They want to extend that lead. It's a great run, running over the safety. Second and seven. Lee up the gut, breaking a tackle. Carrying the defense in for his third rushing touchdown of the game. The Thunderbirds now on top, 31 to 21 with a 10 point lead late in the game, late in the fourth quarter. Fourth and 10 again here for Air Force. They're gonna take a shot right side. Bryce King, great coverage, but a great catch from Davis. Third and inches, another first down here. Larson trucking through the defensive end. Second and 11, Pearson pressured, throws it out, caught by Rodriguez. I'm not sure what the safety was doing, but that is an Air Force Falcon touchdown. 32-yard touchdown pass. 
Not sure if the safety ever even saw the ball. He didn't make an attempt at it and completely whiffed on the tackle. Fourth down for the Thunderbirds. Gregory's going to take off and he is going to dive and stay in bounds to try to run this clock out. Air Force with no timeouts remaining. Gregory 77 yards on the ground today with a 7.7 yard average. And taunting a little bit. This is a huge upset, folks. If they can get one more first down. Crowd still cheering. Lee gets stuffed, but those were the players of the game. And Gregory's going to kneel the ball here. Fourth and 13. It doesn't matter. The clock is running out. Crowd is going insane right now. They are not pleased as the Air Force Falcons, ranked eighth in the country, lose their season and home opener in front of the number one toughest crowd in the stadium, 31 to 28, to the Southern Utah Thunderbirds, who got spanked last week. They went from losing 76 to 24 to the 17th ranked team to beating the number eight team, 31 to 28. This is a monumental upset for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. They had 250 yards on the ground. They only threw the ball seven times for 95 yards. They were sacked once, zero turnovers, and that is the key. These teams in this dynasty need to not turn the ball over against tough competition like the Falcons. Just a perfectly played game. There was a fumble, but it was luckily recovered by uh, Cameron Matthews or Jaquan Freeman. I can't remember which one. 127 yards on the ground today for Brandon Lee. Three touchdowns. Gregory was 73 yards. Matthews was 50 and a touchdown. Seven broken tackles for Matthews. Eight for Brandon Lee. Lee also led the team in receptions with two for 39 yards. Jaquan Freeman had one for 40 and a drop today. But he did have a pancake. Brandon Red also had a pancake. Bryce King, four tackles. Jericho Stevens with three. CJ Moreland didn't have any tackles at all today. He was doing pretty well in coverage. Of course, Air Force doesn't really throw the ball too much today. Moreland with one deflection. That was his only stat on the day. And that is it, folks. Those are the three top players of the day. Brandon Lee, Cameron Matthews, and the kicker who made four extra points. Exciting. The next Southern Utah Thunderbirds matchup will be week three as they take on the Idaho State Bengals in their home stadium. That's going to be a wild one. They've got the biggest stadium in the country. 84,000 fans can sit there and watch their team beat up on the Bengals next week but I doubt that it's going to be a filled up stadium as they are only one and one on the year. And our final game for week two is the Savannah State Tigers traveling to take on the NCANT State Aggies. When asked about the season opener, head coach Seth Maddox responded saying, to be honest, we are expecting a dogfight against NCANT State. It is always hard to gauge somewhat how a season opener will go, but we will head out there and do our best. They are a team in our conference and it is a team we will be getting to know very well. On top of that, we are traveling to Greensboro in that hostile environment to take them on. The crowd always shows up, and they are a great storied program, so we can only expect to have our hands full with the Aggies. I was actually a graduate assistant with the Aggies after I graduated from Auburn in the late 1990s, so this will be a bit of a homecoming for myself. Still have a lot of friends there, including some in the athletic department, so there are no hard feelings between our two schools. It is a friendly rivalry. Still, though, we are ready to get it going. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with the Savannah State Tigers taking on the Aggies. Take it easy, guys.